Now I want to go on from this brief overview of the churches to chapter 4. Ruth and I read chapter 4 together this morning as we usually read a passage. And I was so overcome with the glory of it, I broke into tears. I couldn't read. And I've discovered one of the problems of wearing glasses, which I do reluctantly, is that when you shed tears, you smear your glasses. From time to time, I have to pass them to Ruth to clean them up for me. But I'm all right at the moment. Chapter 4 is vital. If you bypass chapter 4, you're not going to make the right approach. Chapter 4 is the throne room of the universe. We just look at the opening verses. After these I, things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven. What was the first thing he saw? A throne. See, again, he, did not, he could not look immediately at the one who sat on the throne. But the, the theme of this chapter is the word throne. If I were to ask you how many times the word throne occurs in this chapter, which only has 11 verses, you might be surprised to know it occurs 14 times in this one chapter. And the, the theme of the chapter, there is a throne that rules the universe, and everything in the universe is totally under the control of the one who sits on the throne. That chapter reveals four aspects of God's nature. Number one, he is holy. And that is the most important revelation of God given in Scripture. The word holy is the only word that's joined three times with the name of God. Once in Isaiah and once here in this chapter. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. I fear that there is very little understanding or concern about holiness in most of the Christian church in the Western world today. The second revelation is he's almighty. The third is he's eternal. He was, he is, he is to come. And the fourth revelation is he is the creator. He created all things. Take time when you're by yourself to meditate on those four revelations of the nature of God. Holy, almighty, eternal, and creator. See, once you get a clear vision of God, the problems on earth take on a different perspective. But without that vision, I want to warn you, most of you will be facing situations and pressures and dangers that you're not ready to face. 